Welcome back. Now, Twitter has been ablaze with comments following Gauteng Sports, Arts and Culture and Recreation MEC Faith Mazubugo's rant. Amapungani shared an audio recording in which she is heard scolding her staff members and making racial remarks. In the recording, she tells the staff that they do not need to do that they need to do whatever it takes to keep the promises they made and deliver combi courts. Let's take a listen to parts of that audio. And you see, we can't find a legal mechanism. Na National says sports mm -hmm. trust is there implementing agent. There is not a valid contract in place. There is not a valid You too. You too. I want those combi courts. So MEC, I want those combi courts. MEC, we are wrong. How you do them? If it means you go overstrike them with your hands, you better do it. So there's a I want those combi not run over. All that money of combi cards. Nina no it too. You too. So how you do it? If it means you go fly a magic, you better do it. No roll over of that money. You try. We can't be standing in communities and promise them combi cards and not deliver. Okay. We can't. So what no source? What is what here? A combi court mm. must get in. Two is member stress. Is it member stress just so? It's member stress. That combi court want to use it to campaign to win elections. Where is that ever use that? Uh, we use them when we were in Asian treasury from uh, Northern Cape. It was 2016 and it has lapsed. It's a long time. Last or not lapsed, we're showing you an example of how a contract is constructed. And you see it pre -death. And I don't want to hear stories. I want nothing. I want combi cards. We hear you, MC. Don't look me make me look like a fool out there. I want to, I want to open it. Mad, mm. mad, mad. You are going to run flat out that those combi courts are erected. And no stories. I don't want stories. If you are prepared to give me stories, then give me your resignation letters. Then I'll find new people who are prepared to spend my money. And it is spent within the bounds of the law in CMS. Doesn't matter, don't tell me English. I want combi cards. I will do it. Sort it out. It means you fly a kite or you become magician or you become witchcraft. Go to it. Grab it. Or bring your resignation mm -hmm. letters. If it's lawful, we will do everything. Or bring your resignation letters. That's what I want. Copy cards or resignation letters. Because it's, it's clear you are not ready to work in this environment. I empower you, you are not empowered. Which other department has an Indian that is a CCFO? Chido. Which other department? You are the second one, a woman. You must thank your lucky star. Which department has an HOD who is a blue? Aiko, including national. So you must thank me for empowering you. So don't talk to me. No, that's not the intention. You, you must no. never, you must never, mm -hmm. you stop it. It You better do your work or get out. Can you see we are doing That's why some departments, they don't even want to see a white woman or any Indian woman. And I'm a fool. It's not about racism. It's because you like talking English. In one word, let me see what you respect. The I'm speaking, don't even answer me. The good stories that I don't even want to hear the good story, I want to see the practical thing. And you can you see, so you must thank your lucky stars. You know, this women empowerment have taken it too far and it is backfiring on me. And it better, it better not. So go do your work. You see, with respect, we and are spend. Good. Don't answer me. Keep quiet. You are irritating me. Earlier today, she issued an apology statement. The MEC. It reads as follows. 
Okay, so it says that the MEC, the exec, the Faith Mazibuko, member of the executive responsible for sports, arts, culture, and recreation in Gauteng, profusely apologizes to the people of Gauteng as a result of the widely circulated audio recording of myself concerning a meeting I held with senior managers on February 15, 2019. After deep personal reflections, I want to unreservedly apologize for the tone and improper language I used towards my head of department and chief financial officer. I'm a firm believer of women empowerment irrespective of race and sexual orientation because women under apartheid suffered what we came to understand as triple oppression. I will continue to work hard to build a non-racial and non-sexist society these are the ideals I will continue to champion and uphold whether in government or elsewhere as an ordinary member of society. I humble myself and apologize to Premier Makura and my colleagues in the provincial cabinet for the harm caused. I am willing to subject myself to whatever appropriate sanction to be imposed on me by Premier Makura and my organization, the ANC. So it is understood that the ANC in Gauteng gave her a deadline to apologize this afternoon and referred the MEC to its Provincial Integrity Commission. The ANC's Provincial Secretary in Gauteng, Jacob Kaiwe, spoke to SA Today this afternoon. Let's take a listen to that. There is a due process that must make a determination. So we don't want to jump the gun. We don't want to treat people unfairly. You don't correct the wrong by performing another wrong. So we want the Integrity Committee to sit with her, interview her, and then make recommendations to the PC as to what needs to be done. But we want to invite all officials in the provincial government, those who are abused daily and who think that these matters are not known, to come before us and tell us as to what's happening in the department. Because clearly we didn't know this thing, we don't know their relationship, but you can see by the fact that senior managers can record you as their chief, it means there could be something of yeah. their relationship. All right, we've relationship. also heard that there, there is now an investigation by the um, the state, of course, the state agency, the security state, a state agency to look into who actually leaked this recording as the meeting was considered to be a, a very confidential one. We're not involved in any investigation. We're actually inviting more people to come and tell us on any other issues of abuse and discrimination. Yeah, but my question is, what do you say about that? I mean, you talk about, uh, you say that officials should come out if they are being abused by their political principles. Yes. So what I'm saying to you is that with this particular case, we understand that the state security is busy investigating as to who actually leaked this recording. We don't know it. Your take on that, if that's the case? I would focus on the real matter now. The real matter is a political issue. It's whether we discriminate against white and Indian officials in government. Mm. And our stand is that that should not be allowed and that should not happen. Yeah. So what are you going to do going forward? Because part of what she said on the video is that that is why many departments here in the province uh, do not hire white and Indian people. It's That's a general statement. Yeah, but unfortunately it's not factual. We do have whites, we do have Indians in senior management positions in Gauteng, and it's known. We do have an Indian CEO of a board in the province. So it's factually incorrect to make a view that we don't hire white and Indian women. You can go and do your own research. You'll find them. They are there. They are performing well. We don't care about their color. We care about their performance. Yeah. So how urgent is this matter to the ANC? Do we know when uh, the Integrity Commission will take this matter head on? Our internal procedure is that once I've written a letter to the Integrity Committee, after seven days they must issue out a So have you written that letter? Yes, I've written that letter. And now we are on the line to the MEC spokesperson, Nomazwe Ndrokwana. A very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. Let's first start with whether or not the MEC has had a meeting with the Premier David Mabuza, David Makura. Yeah, uh, good evening, ma'am, and uh, good evening to the viewers at home. Uh, yeah, I do know that, yes, indeed, a meeting was scheduled to take place between the MEC and the Premier. At the moment, uh, I am not quite sure whether the meeting did uh, take place or not, but I, uh, th there are a number of processes that are currently underway 
in attending to the issue at hand. Okay, so let's take a look at the apology. So the MEC yeah. was saying that she's done much introspection and she regrets her tone and the language that she used. Was it just the language and the tone or was it the substance of some of the things that she said that she is apologizing yeah. for? Uh, you know, I think the, the, the fact of the matter here is that there was a meeting uh, that sat between the MSC and uh, senior managers on the 15th of, of uh, February. And uh, unfortunately, out of the recordings of that meeting, it is only a certain portion that has then been taken out and leaked to the media. Obviously, there could have been a context within which some of the issues were raised. But I think the MEC's apology suffices to say that, yes, indeed, uh, 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 there was uh, 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 something uh, that happened. And she acknowledges the fact that perhaps the tone and uh, the language that we used was, uh, was not proper. Hence, it is now is coming it out. Perhaps it was not proper. And if you talk about the lack of context, what context are we missing, given yeah. the audio recording and the substance of uh, what it revealed? Well, I think uh, right now, uh, the issue that we need to be discussing and looking at is the fact that the MEC has come out publicly to apologize. So what is she on apologizing for then? She is apologizing for the, uh, for the tone and the improper language that she used in the meeting. But you mentioned the issue of context. That says to us that we're not getting the full story, that we don't know the backstory mm -hmm. of why she yeah. said what she said. So I'm trying to understand why is she then apologizing if she feels that there's a context that is missing? My, you, you, you know, what, 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 is, uh, not, what is clear is that the area that is, is, is being covered in terms of the audio clipping itself is the area where the MEC, out of frustration, uh, is saying uh, things around uh, uh, the, the lack of service delivery. And of course, I think we, uh, we have publicly acknowledged the fact that the language and tone that has been used was, uh, is not palatable. But of course, I think what, 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 what we also need to understand is that the meeting in question was not a meeting just to discuss the combi court, and it is a meeting where there was then an, an, an uproar from the MEC okay. after, uh, uh, after, uh, after issues uh, around non-delivery were discussed. But I think the, 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 the issue that I'm also, I, I also want us to look at is the fact that the NEC, as a employee within the department, has got a responsibility of ensuring that the mandate of her political organization is met. And that includes ensuring that the young people of, the, of this okay. province um, have got access to, to, to sport and recreational facilities. And of course, that is the context that we're talking about. Unfortunately, we have run out of time, but I would have asked you about the intentionality of her words, Gauteng Sports and Culture MEC spokesperson Nomazwe Ndlokwana. And uh, it's time now for some sports news.